In this video, I built a city from scratch in my hardcore Minecraft survival world, and it turned out so good, so make sure to watch the whole video to see how it turns out. Also, if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing and join the Wawa army. We've been taking over YouTube this year, but we could really use your help. I'm trying to hit 2.5 million subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel and press the like button to crack the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft, your favorite episodical series where your favorite Australian Minecraft YouTuber places a bunch of blocks in Minecraft. So far, I've built stuff like this pyramid, this floating island, and today we're going to be building a city. What? And as always, before we start building today, we got to add another 200 melons to our melon farm. So let's get farming. And just like that, we've added our 200 melons to the melon farm for today. And if you guys want to see how big this melon farm ends up getting, I do this at the start of every episode. So make sure to subscribe. And now, and now we can start working on today's project. All right, I think it's time we went over the plan or the vision. Today, I want to build a city, but obviously I can't build an entire city all in this video. So instead, I'll just be creating a main intersection with a road and a sidewalk. And at each corner, I'll be building a giant skyscraper, each like a million blocks tall. And I plan to make them all unique with the blocks and style I use. Now, obviously, this is going to require me to collect a lot of blocks. So I think it's about time we got collecting. But anyway, before we can even get building or even consider building, of course, the first step before every big build is we need to do a lot of collecting and today there's a lot of different blocks we need to collect all right so block number one we're going to be collecting is actually blackstone and even quartz actually there's a few blocks i've come here to the nether to mine and i've come down into our um into our netherite mine where we did all the mining for the netherite beacon i've uncovered so much quartz and blackstone and gravel down here that yeah it's just gonna be the easiest way to get all this stuff so yeah the first three blocks i'm gonna be collecting is quartz blackstone and a bit of gravel because gravel Gravel is an ingredient for concrete and we're going to be building with a bit of concrete today. I mean, the good thing about blackstone is it's pretty easy to get a lot of it. Alright, so we've got uh, 12 stacks of blackstone, so that should be enough. And now we can start moving on, picking up a bit more quartz. This is a block we're going to need a lot of, but not quite as easy to get. Alright, so I've gone ahead and filled my inventory up, and the issue is, once I turn it into blocks, Bruh. three and a half stacks. Collecting enough quartz was going to take a long time. I guess while I'm also down here, uh oh. I'm also after some gravel, uh, so may as well dig that while it's around. And maybe I'll uncover some more quartz or even, uh, even netherite that I can mine. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. Oh gosh. All right, quick update on our quartz collecting. We now have almost 12 stacks of quartz blocks. We also have nearly a full shulker of gravel. I probably almost want to double the amount of quartz I have though. So I'm going to be at this for... Can you shush? I'm going to be at this for quite a while longer. Oh god. Ah, well, this this is fun. I found some more ancient debris that I missed. Well, if I find three more of those suckers, I'll be able to turn my silk touch diamond pickaxe into a netherite one. I'm surprised I haven't uncovered any ancient debris from, like, mining quartz and gravel. I thought I would have for sure found some, but I literally haven't. Come on, I don't even need gravel at this point. I just want to find more ancient debris. We found another one of these things. Is it going to be more than one, or is it just going to be one ore? Oh, come on. Alright, I'm thinking maybe it's time we stop mining for quartz. Alright, and for the next block we're going to collect, we're going to quickly head back to the Mesa Biome. Alright, we are back here in the Mesa Biome, here to get some more terracotta, because, you know, it's a nice, colourful block that we can easily get a lot of if we just, you know, break apart this entire biome. So I want a bit of red and a bit of yellow. They're the two colours I'm after. And thankfully you can get a lot of red, oh my. 
now let's work on getting some of the yellow stuff. Maybe I can employ my pro gamer strategy. Oh god, I ended up getting thousands of yellow terracotta, but after this there was still more blocks I wanted. So I headed over to the desert because I wanted more sand to make a lot of glass and also concrete. But I also wanted some more sandstone. While I waited for my glass to smelt, I swam around and dug up some clay because I wanted to use some bricks on one of the buildings. And as for the rest of the blocks, I was mostly just going to use stone, which I had plenty scattered around in chests all over my world. Which meant after three hours of breaking blocks, I finally had everything I'd need to build this city. Now just to figure out where I was going to build it. All right, I've spent many hours gathering materials and I'm finally ready to start building. I'm gonna be building my skyscrapers somewhere around in this area. So first step, as always, we need to tear down all the trees and get some blank space for us to build. All right, well now we've cut down a bunch of trees. We're just gonna wait for all the leaves to disappear. And uh, the next step is we're gonna have to start doing a bit of terraforming because in order for us to build a bit of a city, we're gonna need a flatter landscape than this. So I'm gonna start off first by uh, depositing a bunch of stuff in these chests over here. But next I'm gonna start off by just taking down a couple layers of the uh, earth here. Alright, well now we've got a bit of a flat area to get started. What I'm going to do now is get a central point here where we're going to start, which I think might be right here. And the first thing we're going to do in building our city is lay down the road. So this is obviously just the beginning and I'm gonna have to expand this quite a lot, but that is the that is our road. That is what it looks like. All right, and our next step will be to add some gutters around the edge of our road here. All right, and actually following this, I'm gonna be adding a layer of stone above here. And then in each four corners of this intersection, that is where I'm going to be building our skyscrapers. And now for this next bit, this is where it's going to get fun because I'm going to have to do a lot more expanding. I want these buildings to be quite big. So now I'm going to mark out how big I want these buildings. And then we're going to have to extend our road and our stone and we'll have to terraform the land around here to make the whole thing just work. So I spent the whole next week studying architecture so I could find the most realistic size to make these buildings in Minecraft. And after all my research, this is what I came up with. All right, so that's the space for one building planned out, uh, but now I'm just gonna carry on and plan out how much space I'm gonna need for the other three buildings, and then I will return with the next step. All right, well now that I've got the four plots for our four skyscrapers we're gonna be building today, I guess the next thing I'll do is continue expanding our road outward. All right, well now I've extended the road in all directions. I will do the white lines later. The next thing we're gonna have to do, which is gonna be really annoying, I'm going to go around all around the edge of what we've built here and attempt to blend it in with the rest of the earth. All right, the real question is, how the hell am I meant to terraform the land when it looks like this? I think what my plan is, is going to be literally just building the dirt from here across to that hill. not bad if you didn't look through the gap under here you wouldn't even know that i've just covered over that whole space all right that's well blended i think i could just sprinkle maybe a few saplings around the spot all right and that just leaves one more side we gotta blend in and this is for sure gonna be the hardest one of them all i could do another connect job from here to there but i have no idea how i'm gonna blend in like this corner i guess i'm just gonna have to create my own entire hill so yeah this this is gonna be fun Right, 
things are starting to kind of take shape. All right, and there you have it. I've been at this for so long, and what's ridiculous is I've barely even started like the city I'm meant to be building. I've spent all this time just pretty much preparing the area so we can build. So if I go around the perimeter here, you'll see all around the outside is nicely blended in. Looks very natural. All right, finally, and now after all that effort, I can start building our very first skyscraper for today. Hey there, hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, don't forget to press that subscribe button because it's completely free, but that's not actually what I'm here to ask from you. Only about 1% of you guys are following me on my Twitter and Instagram, so please, if you have these apps, follow me over there because the bigger the Wawa army grows on these other platforms, the more reach I'll have to get in contact and collaborate with your favorite creators. Also, I post some pretty amazing stuff from time to time. So click the links down below or search for WadzyYT on both Twitter and Instagram and help grow the Wawa army. Oh, and also, don't forget to drink more water today. Now with that out of the way, it's finally time to start building some skyscrapers in Minecraft. All right, and the color scheme of our very first build here is going to be bricks, sandstone, and white uh, stained glass. And we're also going to have a birch colored floor on this sucker. So let's start with filling in the floor and then we can do the rest of the building. And now that is pretty much it. That is the design. It's fairly simple. Um, I didn't want to go too over the top because now the next step, now that we've built this first layer, is we just need to repeat this numerous times until we have a pretty tall building. Well, now that we've built the first two layers, now we just commit to this and we just build it up and up and up as much as we can until we eventually, until we eventually reach the height we want this thing to be. Alright, so here's what I've built so far of our first skyscraper. I don't know how much taller I'm going to go, but I actually ran out of bricks, which I'm not surprised with. So for the moment, I'm going to take a quick break and go collect some more clay, get some more bricks, and then we'll focus on finishing this off. It shouldn't take that much longer, to be honest. Once I get in the groove of it and I figure out the pattern, just a matter of placing blocks. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. And also, if I come over here from a distance, you can see, oh wow, it looks cool. But imagine that and then three other towers as well. It's gonna look amazing. It's gonna look so cool. Many, many layers later and after so much effort, finally we had finished our first building in our city. All right, and good news. Our first tower is complete. I say complete, but it is still completely empty and uh, it'll probably stay that way for forever. But when you look at this thing from a distance, it looks really cool. But hey, I'm uh, I'm super happy with how this, this building turned out. I think it turned out exactly how I expected it to look. So with that, it's now time to move on to tower number two. And for our next tower, we've got a color scheme of stone, yellow terracotta, and light blue stained glass. Building number two was a bit trickier to start off with. I hadn't really planned on how I was going to build this thing. I had only roughly brainstormed the block palette. So through the fun of building in Minecraft, I played around with it for about 15 minutes and sooner or later, I had an idea for how it would look. All right, so this is the beginning of this building. I've been playing around with it quite a lot and I don't know if I'm happy with it yet but I don't think I'm gonna replicate this first layer over and over again. I think now I'm gonna try and figure out the pattern I can repeat for this entire building and hopefully we can get something going. Oh, this is fun. I've just realized that I'm gonna have to destroy a bit more land up here as well. Uh, 
Well, this build is probably a little bit scuffed, but I'll make it work. I'll do my best. I think that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna replicate a similar pattern to what I've done here. So I got to work and not too much later, building number two was looking like this. All right, I was unsure about building number two for a while there, but I think I, it definitely came through good. I'm really liking what this building is looking like so far. I am going to repeat what I've done with this layer again. And by then it should be, actually it should be probably the same height as the first one we built. I've got my inventory full of all the blocks I'm gonna need. So let's just get started. And then with another 15 minutes of work, I could finally say building number two was complete with it looking like this. All right, and on to building number three, and this one is going to be interesting. Got ourselves a combo of some quartz, some gray concrete, and even some red terracotta. Now, once again, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I have a rough idea, but I'm really just winging it. So to start off with, I'm probably just gonna mess around for a bit and see if I can land on a theme that I like. Building number three was by far the hardest of them all. Before I started, I had one concept in mind, but it turned out not looking too great. So I had to do some improvising. All right, I've been messing around with this building for a bit and I'm starting to make it work. But I'm starting to ask myself, should I change all the quartz blocks to these bricks? I think I probably should. I think it looks a lot better, right? If you remember this building, I wasn't too happy with the first layer of that one either, but the more I added, the better it looked. I think it's probably time we moved on to the second layer and that's when it should hopefully take shape. All right, so quick little update on building number three. I think it's going all right. This is what I've got so far. Nice and symmetrical, it looks pretty cool. Um, but now at this next layer that I'm gonna add now, I'm gonna change it up a bit. I'm not sure how, maybe something a little more simple that I can uh, that I can like replicate easy. And yeah, we're gonna just take this thing to the sky. We're just, we're gonna make it massive. I don't know if I have enough materials on me right now, but I wanna make this build, I wanna make this building taller than the last one I made. Ah, oh, damn, I'm out of gray concrete once again. All right, and now that's building number three complete, which means we only have one more left to build. And I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. I was very, you know, the first half of it was a bit eh, but when I got to that top half of it, I smashed that out so quick and I think it looks great. And my favorite part is of course, getting a look from a distance. Hey, look at that. Doesn't that look so cool? I've built cyberpunk in Minecraft. All right, and onto our final building. And this one is going to be uh, stone themed. Yeah, that, that's it. No fun colors, just stone and black stained glass. God damn it. All right, so that's our first layer of this building. I wouldn't mind trying to find a way to bring more blocks into this build and spice it up a little bit, because it is kind of a little bit boring, but for now I might continue working on the shape. Of all the buildings, building number four was by far the least ambitious with a very boring block palette, not much color, but it still worked really well. And as you're about to see, it made the building look super serious and corporate. I still liked it a lot. Uh, all right, well, that's what we've got so far. Um, and I'm pretty much just gonna continue that pattern straight into the sky. This is like a super just like skyscraper look, just long ass windows going all the way up. I think it's fine. It's a bit lazy, 
It's, I don't think it's anywhere near as cool as any of the other buildings I've made, but it'll look pretty good once we get it tall. I'm liking the shape of it and everything, and the window effect does work quite well. Like, I quite like this building, as boring as it is. I don't even think I really need to change that much. I'm still going to build it up quite a lot. It may end up being the tallest of the buildings, or it may be close to the height of this one. But I am now... I had this, like, plus shape. I'm now bringing it all into the middle here. And I'm just going to have one uh, central kind of tower up top here. Finally, I had done it. This took so long to do, but I had finally made all four skyscrapers for today. And here's how building number four turned out. All right, so now that I've built these absolute giants, it's time to focus on the smaller details. And I'm gonna start off on the rooftops of all of our buildings. Oh, please let me get there, please, thank you. And with rooftop number one, what I'm gonna be building is a heli pad, helicopter landing pad. Oh god, oh, the curse of having a pickaxe that mines too fast. Right, and there you go, rooftop number one. We've got ourselves a helicopter landing pad. All right, on top of this roof, I want to build like an aerial an antenna thing. Alright, also up here on this roof, I want to build generator looking thingies. One there. I'm going to do a couple more antennas up on this thing. Alright, and I think our rooftops are done. Alright, now we can start focusing on some details on the ground here, on the street, because our street is a little bit bland. This could definitely use some fixing up. So we'll add some street street lights. Even just with these lights, it's it, it really does help. It's already starting to look better. Then we just scattered some leafy bushes along the street. All right, and just like that, that brings a little bit of extra life to our city here. All right, and this next detail is going to be a little bit more ambitious. All right, and if you haven't figured it out yet, what I'm building here is traffic lights. It's a little bit average. And now there's only one more thing I want to add to the streets before we'll be done for today. We've got the traffic lights. Now we need to add some cars. Get some little headlights on this thing. that's the end of the build. They said it couldn't be done. They said I couldn't build a city in Minecraft. Well, they were wrong. Finally, I spent all day building in Minecraft and finally I had created my very own city. Thank you guys so much for watching. This build took so long to create and I'm so happy with how it turned out. While I show off everything, make sure to leave a comment down below telling me which of the four buildings is your favorite and why. Also, I'd love to see what kind of skyscrapers you guys can come up with. So tag me in a photo of your own creation on Instagram or Twitter. And one final thing, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join the Wawa army because we're taking over YouTube and that way you can see what I get up to next. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.